And now we'll go in with our white paintbrush and really sort of fine tune the areas that we want to see a little bit more of that sky. So it doesn't have to be 35% or nothing. See, so we can get a little bit more of that edge that we want to see or go back to black and take it out. So maybe over these little elements here of the wheat, I want to take it out, but I wanted to keep a little bit more of that original sky in. But that is looking very nice. And down here, maybe I'll bring in a little bit more with my white brush and bring out some of that original color. And if you want it to look like you can see through her dress here, we can bring in a little bit more and then switch back to black and soften that up. And you can kind of start to see that sky come through on the dress. I don't want to see it on the dress, so I am going to increase a little bit to get it off of there. Drop this down to about 10%. And let's just paint in a little bit more of the sky. So it looks like it's coming through. And then switch back to black here. I'm using X on the keyboard to do that. And just get rid of some of the sky. So just a bit so it looks like the light is coming through. But not entirely. You can see it's doing it here too. Let me just get rid of some of that with black. And that's looking really nice. And then with white, I'll add a little more sky over here because I really want to see it around my subject. The inside, we do get some of the edges there back in. So all I'm doing is kind of slowly and softly bringing in and out with my opacity, low opacity brush, what I do want to see and what I don't want to see. So here, I don't want to see the clouds over the edges of the shear or the wrinkles, so I'm going to bring in the shear. But at 10%, it happens real slowly and softly, so I'm just clicking around, you can hear. And then we start to get that coming through. So this is just an extra little block. So you can really paint with this. Get this exactly the way you want at 10%. Bring back some of the original image. And you can see this blends in just beautifully, so it's not complicated. If you see a little area down here where it's not blending right, just go ahead and grab a larger opacity brush and you can get a nicer blend there a little quicker. And I'm blocking out right now with black. I'm blocking out the cloud layer. You can see on any area I don't want to see those clouds. 30% soft edge brush. And let's just paint in those trees. And I'm kind of clicking a lot here. You can see depending on how much you need to click. And we'll just bring those back in. And I'm just coming up a little bit to do a nice soft fade. See, so it doesn't have to be a hard edge there. Over here we'll do the same thing. And then we can zoom in and really see to make sure we get a nice blend from the actual tree to the sky. So here it's a little harder. Here we have a little bit more of our cloud overlapping, but that's all right. And I might go ahead across all of this here and do a nice soft blend on the edges of all of my house and my trees just to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. And again, we get a little color cast there. That's all right. That's what the sky does and what the camera picks up. So it just softens that hard edge we made with our selection. And I'm just going over the image again, blocking out some of that sky there. Now, a lot of the times, the digital backgrounds will blend very nicely with your original blue sky. And in this case, it does. Of course, we have a little bit of an odd, harsh edge going on here. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. But you can see how nicely the pink here really blends into this sky. So to start out, let's go ahead and add a layer mask to our sky. We'll come down here and click on that. And then we'll grab our gradient tool here. And if we go from black to transparent in the gradient here, you can see that one there, then we will just slowly fade this out by putting black to transparent from the bottom to the top, and that will block out this layer from bottom to top. So we'll go ahead and hold down our shift key, click on the lower part here right above the hard edge, and then just drag up right sort of there above our subject's head. That sort of blends everything out, and that's going to make our extraction a lot easier because it's not such a heavy, harsh, full image. And if you want to do a little bit more, maybe you don't like it around her cheek here, you can come in a little closer and get rid of some of that on her cheek, maybe on her eye up here. And you can lower or raise your opacity here to make this a little stronger or less strong. So depending on where you want to see or not see those clouds. So that looks pretty good there. 
And then the next thing we'll do is we'll just change the look of the digital background by increasing some of the contrast. And I'm going to do that with a curve adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to my layers and then I'll go to new adjustment layer and let's do curves or you can just apply curves directly to your digital background. So now that I have the curve up here, let's go ahead and just darken it a bit and pop the high end so it looks like that. And if it's too strong, now I can lower the opacity of my curve layer and adjust how much I want to see that curve adjustment. So right about there looks pretty good.